So vitamin D is the sunlight hormone. We know that most of our annual vitamin D comes from skin sunlight exposure, about 80%. Uh, in the winter, oral vitamin D through the diet, for example, is obviously very important when the sunlight goes away. Um, we have known for many years that vitamin D is important for bone health, but we've learned in recent decades that the vitamin D receptor resides in immune cells. Vitamin D is very important to maintain innate immunity, for example. Studies have shown that uh, many athletes in the autumn and winter are deficient for vitamin D, just like the general public. And it's important to avoid deficiency of vitamin D to avoid respiratory infections. Studies have also shown that um, vitamin D supplementation, safe vitamin D supplementation, can reduce, um, it's tolerogenic is, is vitamin D, through its anti-inflammatory effects, it can reduce the incidence of upper respiratory tract infections. So we recommend screening athletes, particularly at the end of the summer, to check they're sufficient for vitamin D, which is typically above 50 nanomolars of vitamin D in blood. And that during the winter, when the sunlight goes away, it's important to have some dietary sources of oily fish, etc., of vitamin D. But also, government guidelines are for between 400 international units a day and 600 international units a day of vitamin D supplementation to avoid insufficiency. Um, it's very important though that athletes do not take high doses of vitamin D. So for example, we know the safe upper limit is 4,000 IUs per day. So it's very important not to exceed those and not to take very high doses of vitamin D.